Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm doing a love oracle card reading and we're asking the question, what is it that I need to know about my love? Or what is it that I need to do with regard to love right now? Or what is my advice with regard to love right now? So it's basically any question that you want to have answered with regard to love and you can use this reading here to be able to help you answer your question. Even if you're single, even if you're not in a relationship, all the answers here should be relevant to you in some way. Or, well, not all of them, but perhaps the ones that you choose. So we have three decks here. They are all from Doreen Virtue. And um, the first one is the Angel Answers deck. The second one is the Romance Angels. And that's Past Life. So I haven't used this one in a pick a card reading before. But uh, we'll just see how it works out. I will be channeling a message to you anyway. So I think it shouldn't be a problem. I'm just using it as a bridge to connect me to you. And this is why I use these cards anyway. So it's the deck number one, the deck number two, and the deck number three. Please make your selection and you may go down to the timestamp where you will be able to go directly to your reading. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and begin. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question is ask, we're asking is, what is it that we need to know about love at this moment? What is our, the answer to our question about love? And we have a card here that's a reverse no. Okay, I'm just going to choose another card as well. And it says, it's also reversed, and it says a year from now. So I'm actually going to use these. Uh, I'm just going to, I think the whole deck is reversed. Well, maybe. Um, but I'm going to, I'm not going to read these cards in the reversed order. I'm just going to read them as I uh, as I want to okay um so basically we have a card that's no and it's an emphatic no here okay and we have a year from now okay so the first thing I feel here is that this is the situation is exactly not as you expect it to be or that it's not really working out in the way that you hoped it would be the guidance here is to say uh, the, the feeling that I'm getting here is that whatever it is that you want to do right now in this relationship is not going to happen and that you should stop it right now. So whichever direction you were moving into, right now is not the right time. If you're going to be buying a gift for your uh, partner, which is an expensive gift, now is not the time to do it. If you were going to go away with your partner, that is also not the, the right time to do it. So whatever it is that you're planning to do, now is not the right time for it and a later time um, would be a better time. It doesn't necessarily mean that's a year from now, although that may apply to some of you. The answer that you, you've come here to hear is that whatever is it is that you're hoping for in terms of love, whether you're in a partnership or whether you're single, you don't need to, to push any longer or you don't need to try any longer. You need to stop trying. You need to just like let this go. This thing has a life of its own, okay? And it's going to go in a direction whether you like it or not. And this is not something to be afraid of, but it's rather you should embody a, a feeling of curiosity just to see what's going to happen, just to be curious as to how this will unravel. So that, that is like the message I'm hearing here, like to just let go, to release this. It's going to have its own life. It's going to move in its own direction. You're not going to be able to control it. And just to be curious rather and to kind of be pleasantly interested in what is to come. And later on, uh, you, you will find that the result will be more pleasing to you. So the, the result may not be pleasing at this moment, but it will be later. So if, if you're single and you have come here to, and you're looking at, you know, you're wondering what your guidance is, I feel like the guidance is once again an emphatic no. Like you shouldn't be looking out for somebody right now. You shouldn't be actively looking for somebody right now. And that it's, it's largely a time for you to be alone right now or to commune 
with uh, the forces of nature or with the divine forces, it's time for you to basically go inward and to work with yourself on a spiritual level and, and to be able to overcome any challenges that you have in your life right now before love can come into your life. And love will come into your life and there will be this this happiness that will be there, but it's going to come at a later stage. I just want to pause to see if anything else com is coming through here right now. Okay, so if you're in a situation in terms of love where you are, you have people in your life that are working against you and your love, or people who don't believe in your situation or your your love relationship, whatever it is, um, you gotta give it a little bit of time and patience. It will come together, and they will be in support of you later. Okay, it's not necessarily going to be that they are all gonna be accepting of everything right now. In fact, they might violently push this, uh, push against this. But uh, you don't need to worry about it. It's gonna come together later on. So if your question was something along the lines of, well, what shall I do? I'm in love with this person, but my family hates him or her. Uh, what shall I do? Then the advice is don't push it. It's okay. Let accept and respect their opinion. Uh, but don't worry because the situation is going to get better later on. And so I think that's basically the crux of this reading. It's don't worry. Things are going to get better later on. But And no, don't push for it now. Don't try too hard. Don't do anything that's going to make you feel demeaning or it's going to make you feel less of a person um, in this respect because this is just, it's not going to help you in any way. So if you've been doing, if you've been running after somebody or rather if you've been pursuing somebody, let's, that's a nicer way of saying it, and, and you haven't been receiving the results that you wanted to have, it's time to stop that and just to let go of it and to commune with yourself here, to, to work with yourself and to take a bit of time in solitude, to take a bit of time in nature as well and uh, see and feel a vibration that is greater than your own and that's greater than this love that you believe in because there is that. Okay, so if you may be thinking that this is the greatest love you ever, you've ever had, but there's a feeling that you can attain that's greater than that. And this card is basically telling me that that's what you need to do here. You need to tap into that feeling that is greater and that feeling that is more attuned with your soul right now. And whatever it is that you desire is going to come a little bit later on. Okay, so that's your message for uh, this week for those of you who've chosen the first deck, which is this one here. For those of you who've chosen the second deck here, we're asking the same question. What is it that we need to know about love? What is our love oracle guidance this week? What is the question to our answers? And any guidance that you may have for us. It says here this could be the one, but pay attention to the red flags, okay? So that's the, the one thing. And I feel that here it's you who's thinking that this could be the one. Like a lot of your feelings here are inside of you and they are very much um, having to do with what your ideas are. They have less to do with the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is that there's this person or there will be people in your life who you'll need to accept and you'll have to accept all of them because the love that the love that you are dreaming of doesn't actually exist here this is the message i'm getting for you okay i know it sounds kind of rude uh, so bear with me the love that you desire or the love that you dream of is not exactly where it's going to or how it's going to end this person has many qualities about them that you may decide that you're not in favor of later on or as time goes on and this is something that it might be like physical um, physical flaws that you may believe that they have for instance they may they may have some habits or it may be something physical like a mole that they have or 
it it's I don't know. I'm getting like these are not like psychological red flags. This person's not messing with your brain and trying to control you and all of that. This is more like the feeling I'm getting here is that there may be things about the person that you love, okay, who you think is the one who is which don't really um, please you, and this is something that you need to accept. So the message here is that you need to accept this person exactly as they are and with all their flaws, with all their molds and warts, so to say, literally and figuratively. And But this is not to say that you need to put up with anything that's going to be harmful or abusive towards you in any way or form. And that's not what I'm suggesting here. Because the card here is, says pay attention to the red flags and and I'm not cautioning you not to pay attention to the red flags and to accept this person wholeheartedly. If there's any situation that you're confronted in here, which uh, is threatening you in any way, then please do pay attention to that. And obviously don't enter into a relationship or into a situation uh, with somebody that's threatening you or your dignity in any way. This situation which you're thinking about is actually, it has the... The divine roots that you believe it has or that you may have started off thinking that you have so it might be that at the beginning you thought that this was the one but then it turns out that you know there's a lot of things going on and this person's not really proving to be the one in your mind but that brings me back to the message that i got right at the beginning when i first looked at this card and it was saying that your idea of love or what you think uh, this love should be or how it should play out or how it should fit into your life is not necessarily how it's going to be and so sometimes there needs to be a bit of compromise to be able to meet this person halfway or to be able to meet the situation halfway now we've been talking only about uh, a situation here where there's another person involved and I want to briefly look at what your message is if you are single so if you're single and you've come along here I, I want to say that the message for you is quite different. In fact, it's almost as if you shouldn't find the red flags in everyone that you meet. You shouldn't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, you shouldn't try too hard to find the perfect person because you're going to be able to take off all your boxes in this one person. And so this is something that you need to be aware of and you need to kind of let go of some of the, like some of the criteria that you basically that you have for this person it will be necessary for you to compromise on some level in order for you to be able to experience that real love and to experience that true love. And it's only when you give up some of those criteria and you choose just to love, then that you will realize how beautiful this love can be. And the other message I'm hearing here is that you have not, not yet in your life experienced love in the way that you can actually experience it. It can go so much deeper and so much more beautiful and it can be so much more fulfilling and and satisfying and you actually haven't had a chance to appreciate that or to ex uh, experience that as yet because you've had all these criteria and you've been kind of paying attention to all the red flags too much almost. So that is it for those of you who um, are single and you want to know what this this card, uh, what these cards are saying to you. Uh, once again, this is my, a channeled message to you, okay? Um, and so in terms of the, the, the general message here, it's accept the person as uh, they are and recognize that this person's not going to be everything that you necessarily dream of. They are going to have some attributes that are going to be contrary to what you thought you would find pleasing and this is something that you will have to learn to live with okay and then you know once again if you are experiencing um any difficulty in your relationship definitely seek help as far as that is concerned and um yeah do pay attention to any red flags but don't create a drama from this, these red flags or don't don't make it you know, the reason that you decide not to do this or not to go ahead with something. Think about it in a balanced fashion and come back into your center and look at the pros and the cons of the situation. Recognize how it makes you feel, okay? If you were somebody and they're making you feel terrible or you, you, they don't make you feel terrible, but you kind of feel terrible because of something that you are doing with them, then look at that feeling and ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Are they bringing up something in me that's making me question myself 
in a way that makes me feel uncomfortable? And is it something that I need to change about myself? Or is it something that I could improve about myself rather? And, um, you know, look at look at whether that is the reason. If, if you are feeling not good and you were with somebody um, or you are thinking of being with somebody... And this person, it's not about, you know, you fe feeling uncomfortable. There's not something about you that you need to change. It's not, it's not like that. This person is generally making you feel uncomfortable. Then definitely seek help as far as this is concerned or, or remove yourself from that situation. But um, because, you know, you even if this person could be the one uh, and you may think that, it it's not actually worth it or it doesn't make sense if... Um, this person's hurting you in some way or they are uh, it's damaging to, or if it's damaging to you in some way or the other all right so that's a very uh, spread out message I feel that uh, what I've been channeling to you comes from or it's like what I feel is the situation here is in the first part of this message and then the second part of the message is me just basically um, wanting to pay attention to this red flag so I hope that this message has been helpful to you on some level and um, yeah, I wish you much luck in the love that you have and in the situation that you're in. Okay, all the best to you. So for those of you who've chosen the last deck here, the number three, the question is we're asking is what is it that we need to know about love right now? And what is the answer to our question? And also, uh, what is our guidance in, in love at this moment? Okay, so the first message I'm hearing with regard to this is that uh, I feel like this message is has something to do with the single people out there, or there it's something to do with the um, with people who are still searching. So you might be in a relationship with somebody, but you are still searching, you're still hoping, you're still waiting for that extra special feeling. So the the main message I'm getting here, or the first message I'm getting here rather, is that. Your love is out there somewhere. The love that you desire, the love that you seek, the love that you wish for is out there somewhere. You don't need to sweat it, you know. You don't need to wait for it or wonder when it's going to come or how it's going to come or how am I going to find this love amongst all these people out there. It's like searching for something, you know, for a needle in the haystack, as they say. So how are you going to find this person? It doesn't matter, okay, it really, it, it does matter, even though you might be feeling alone or maybe feeling a little bit left out or feeling uh, maybe a sense of emptiness because you're not really receiving or getting the love that you wanted to have. This is not an indication indicator that you, your feelings are not an indicator of the fact of whether you have love out there or not. Love for you does exist it is out there and it's a matter of you being able to attract yourself to one another and the way in which to go about doing this uh, what I'm hearing here for you and I think this is a fairly general message but what I'm hearing specifically for you is to be the best person that you could possibly be so there may be a part of you that uh, wonders whether you or wonders whether there's something that you can improve about yourself or something that you could tweak about yourself before you came into a relationship. And what what I'm hearing here is that there isn't necessarily anything to tweak about you or to better yourself in any way or to improve yourself in some way. It's more about rather accepting you completely and to be exactly who you choose to be and how you choose to be and to be feeling ready so that when this person shows up, 
that you are going to be able to be yourself with them and not to be able to put on any airs and you're not going to feel any feelings of shame because you're not where you want to be in your life or you're not the right weight or you don't think your skin looks good or whatever the reason is. I know those are really superficial examples, but I do think that they plague people uh, to, in these days. And so I'm using them. Um, but basically, you need to bring yourself to a space of acceptance of yourself. And if you feel that there is something that you need to tweak, then go ahead and do that. Be that person that you want to be when you're going to be in a relationship with the person that you're hoping to be with. And this is going to attract and draw the person to you. Right now, it's as if there are many options that are waiting to step into your life, but they can't because you are not the one who's ready. All right. So that is a quite fairly long message for those of you who are single. Um, for those of you who are in relationships here, the message that I'm hearing is that the relationship that you're in right now is a really important relationship, okay? And it's a really defining for you in many ways. And the question you need to ask yourself here is whether the definition that it has of you is is kind of taking over your life or changing you in some way that is a way that you don't want to be changed. There, the, the message that I'm hearing here for you is that you need to be able to feel all the other lights that are out there, to feel all the other souls that are out there, all the other beautiful beings that are out there that want to be able to contribute to you and to your existence. And you need to be able to engage in that, whether it is in whichever way you engage with it, whether it means that you work with these people or whether it means that you engage in intimate relations with these people or whether it means that you actually simply are honoring those people and allowing them to recognize and honor you as well. So perhaps it could be friendships or it could be people that you meet in uh, in, when you are in your hobbies or um, in you know when you're interacting in sport or whatever it is but basically there is this relationship that you're in right now need not define you or close you up or keep you uh, in a stranglehold what it really needs to do is actually allow you to be or you need to really allow yourself to be able to explore and to be able to shine as brightly as you can it, because the thing that I'm hearing is that you can only shine this as brightly as you can when you're in inter interacting with others as well and not with um, only with your partner. And I'm not suggesting here that you go out and cheat on your partner. That's the last thing I'm suggesting. But um, the what they what they're saying is that this relationship is not the end all and be all of your life. And it's something that you need to actually understand and, and recognize that maybe you are fulfilling like between one and 10 percent of your of the the being that you are and there's so much more that you can do and there's so much more that you can experience right now in, in the world and there's so many different facets of you which need to be honored and recognized and and to be seen and and this is not happening right now in your life so understand that this amazing relationship that you have with this person need not be some the the thing that fills every everything that needs to be fulfilled in your life okay so that is the 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 message that i'm hearing for those of you who are in relationships and i've chosen this option here um the other thing i'm hearing is that if you are in a relationship and you haven't been that close to each other right now there's a bit of distance between you or there's a bit of coldness between you or there's this person is treating you in a quite an aloof manner then don't worry about that. You are still connected to this person and recognize that you are still connected to this person in a very deep way. And this connection cannot be broken. It's not something that can be torn away from you or it, can, it cannot be destroyed with harsh words. It's something that is there and it's eternal and it's infinite. And this is something that is always going to be there no matter what you do. Um, and the best thing to do here is to be able to um, make the relationship that you have with this connection a more comfortable ride, a more uh, comfortable part of your existence, okay? So that was my message for you, for those of you who have chosen this deck here today. Once again, these decks were all from Doreen Virtue. And um, yes, this is a past lives deck. I know that's kind of weird, but I've used it here just to ask for a... a um, 
a general question. And I hope that these um, questions have been helpful and useful for you today. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead and very much luck with your love lives. Okay, all the best to you from me and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.